Sarah from Apricot Polka Dot, and today we are going to be making strawberry pom poms. And these are a really fun summer project, and really they're good any time of year, but they're really easy to make. They just involve two different colors of yarn and a little bit of trimming. And then you can get some super fun strawberries that you can string into a garland or put in a little basket. So let's get started with this. You only need a few items to make your pom poms. You need some yarn preferably a green and whatever color you want your strawberry to be. A pom-pom maker, and again, I love the clover pom-pom makers. I will link to this in the comments, and you can also look at my website for all of my favorite pom-pom making tools. Also some pairs of scissors. And if you need help making your pom-pom, be sure to check out my YouTube video, How to Make the Perfect Pom-Pom, and that will give you all my favorite tips and tricks for making pom-poms. So to start, we're going to use our green. We're going to start by making the stem or the leaves, the leafy part of our pom-pom. And what I do, I'm actually gonna double up my yarn just to make this go a little quicker. So I'm doubling up my yarn. So I'm taking from the inside of the skein and then the outside as well. So this just makes it go a little quicker. And we're actually going to start in the very inside corner of the pom-pom maker. So you can see where I'm wrapping. I'm gonna just stick right in that inside corner. So this is where our leaves are going to be. And we don't need very much yarn right here because this really, it's just the leaves. We don't want half of our pom-pom to be taken up by leaves. So that looks good to me. I like to keep it about a third of the, the length across of the pom-pom maker. And just for convenience, I'm actually going to trim that yarn. If you really want, you could actually just keep the yarn on the pom-pom maker and like hold, just pull it off to the side and keep going, but it's a little easier, I think, to just remove it completely. Now I'm going to actually make a red strawberry. So once again, I'm going to double up my red yarn, just pulling from the inside and the outside. I'm going to kind of overlap these two ends of my green leaves just so it's going to hold that in place. And I'm going to start wrapping with some of this red yarn. Now, we want to have some green little seeds on the outside. So I'm going to take just one strand of the green. And every so often, I'm going to just incorporate it in. So you can see I have three strands right now. Two red, one green. That will show up. There we go. And every once in a while, I'm just going to pull in that green and then kind of I'm going to kind of also pull it back out so it's not like super evenly green. So now I'm doing just red again. And then we're going to pull in the green again. And just, you're going to kind of just keep pulling it in and out. Now, I'm about full on this side of my pom-pom maker. So I'm going to close this up. I just keep all those strings attached rather than cutting. You can cut if that's easier for you. And then I'm going to start on this other half and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to keep the green in sometimes, but then I don't want it all the time. I kind of like more red than green. So we'll pull that out for a little bit and then wrap again with the red. And then I'm going to keep going until I get this half finished. Okay, so now I'm at the very end of my pom-pom. It's as full as it can be. I'm going to close it up and then I'm going to trim off all of my strings. And I'm going to move my red out of the, the way. So to tie up this pom-pom, I'm going to actually use green because it looks like it's just another seed in the middle of my pom-pom. And we're going to take it off of the pom-pom maker. So I'm going to do that really quick, and then we'll talk about the trimming. Okay, so now we have our pom-pom taken off the pom-pom maker. Obviously, it doesn't look quite like a strawberry yet, but you can see where we had all that green. It makes our leaves at the top. And again, if you need to have the details about how I tied up the pom-pom, trimmed it off the pom-pom maker, all of that stuff, you can find that in my other pom-pom making video for how to make the perfect pom-pom. So now we are just going to trim, and the trimming is really what gives this pom-pom its strawberry look. So we need to sort of trim it up at the top. Now strawberry is usually kind of a triangular shape, so that's what we're going to go for. 
So I like to hold it in my hand so that I can kind of see a natural, like see where it's kind of a natural looking triangle. Obviously the we want the leaves to be at the top, but then we kind of want it to aim downward into kind of a point. So I just start taking off of the sides into kind of a triangular shape. So instead of just going round and around, I'm actually going to make it kind of shaped into like a triangle, but a soft triangle because they're not really sharp triangles. They're, they're rounded. So we're just going to take off some of that. And just depending on how, like if you want it really, really trimmed, you can obviously just keep going and going until you get to that point. But with like my leaves, I kind of like those to be a little bit messy because leaves aren't perfect at the top. But the sides I do like to have trimmed down a little bit to make those a little more smooth and perfect. But really, you just kind of keep fluffing up. See where you missed a spot. And we are almost there. If you need to take off a little more from the sides, just kind of just keep your pom-pom at a diagonal and trim diagonally on there. And really, that is about it. And then, move some of our fuzz out of the way, you can see that you've got a fun strawberry pom-pom. And once you have that, then you could string a couple of these into a garland. One thing to point out with a strawberry garland is that the top is heavier than the bottom because we have more pom-pom and more weight up at the top. So if you are going to string this into a garland, make sure you string through the top of the pom-poms instead of right through the middle. You want to go through the top a little bit more than the, the center. So just keep that in mind. But I hope you enjoy. Hopefully you'll make lots of strawberries this summer and have a really fun strawberry collection. Thanks so much.